Good morning, students. School attention. School stabilities. School attention. Check your line, stand straight. Wish you all a pleasant morning. Today, the students of grade 4 through B are here to proceed with the events of the assembly. It's always good to start a day inviting the presence of God. So, let's praise our Lord and Savior with a prayer song. Song number 17, page number 15. <laughs> Good morning. Today's health tips are about Apple. 
it protects your heart it boosts brain and it reduces the weight Another well, risk of potential diabetics fight against cancer and thank you and have a healthy day. Thank you, Caleb. Rayon and Joan are here to present English today. Hey, Joan. Hey, Rayon. I saw you the other day, don't speak. You look stressful. Yeah, I felt like fish out of water. Fish out of water? What does that mean? It means feeling out of our comfort zone. Cool. Thanks for educating me on that. My pleasure. Thank you. That was really quite interesting and informative. Thank you so much. Friends, 9th of July is a very special day for Kefrina from grade 4 Topaz and Jerusalem from grade 5 J. They are celebrating their birthday today. Let's give them a musical treat now. Come on everybody, join in. Meanwhile, I request our FEMM to give away the birthday cards to the celebrants. Song number 4, page number 41. Jesus, we pray especially for Kathrina and Jerusalem. They are celebrating their birthday today. You have given them a full year, protected them and saved them. In the coming year also, be with them and protect them from all dangers. Give them help and wisdom to study and make them grow in splendid manners. Obedient, truthful and lovable by you and all. Bless their parents, teachers and school and make them walk as children of light and glorify your name. Amen. Amen. It's time for us to turn. Honesty is the best policy. The students of Grade 4 Thruvi presenting a short skit regarding honesty. Once upon a time, there lived a king. He became very old. The king had three sons. So he started to think which one will become his successor. One day, he called his sons and gave each one a seed. After six months, I will see that whose plant is the best. The one who will have the most beautiful plant will be the next king. They went back and planted the seeds and took care of the seeds for six months. After six months, two of those brothers had beautiful plants in their pot with lovely flowers. But the younger brother's pot was empty. He sang his brother's pots and became very sad. He started to worry about what he would tell his father. After six months, King called all his sons to show him the plans. Father, here is our plan. Look how beautiful is it. There is your plan. My pot is empty, my dear father. I am really sorry, but I tried my best for growing plants. No, my son, you should not be sorry. You see, the plants I gave to you and your brothers were dead and useless. Your brothers lied to me when they saw that they planted other seeds in their pots. But you are honest and told me the truth and the best qualities of a king is that we should be honest. So, my dear son, you are the successor of the throne. The moral of this 
it is, it is better to be hard. Being honest is always worth it. Thank you. Now, let's get ready for the Tamil Taiwan. Attention!